Ever wonder why some people live a long life but spend their final years in poor health, while others remain vibrant and active even into their 80s and 90s? This intriguing question paves the way for our exploration of two fascinating concepts. Health span and lifespan. It's not just about the number of candles on your birthday cake, but the quality of those years that truly count. Are you ready to delve deeper into this captivating subject? Let's unravel the mystery between health span and lifespan. Scene script. Picture two individuals, one living till 100 but bedridden for the last 20 years, and the other living till 85 but active until their last breath. Let's call the first individual lifetime long and the second lifetime strong. Lifetime long, despite reaching the ripe old age of a hundred, spends his twilight years confined to a bed, reliant on others for everyday tasks. The world outside his window continues to spin, yet he is a mere spectator, detached from the vibrancy of life. His lifespan is impressive on paper, but is it truly a life well lived? Now picture lifetime strong. He lives until he's 85, but unlike lifetime long, he remains active and involved until his final days. He's dancing at family weddings, he's hiking on Sundays, he's spinning tales for his grandchildren. His life may be shorter in years, but it's brimming with rich experiences and meaningful interactions. The tale of these two lifetimes brings to light two crucial but often overlooked concepts. Lifespan and healthspan. Lifespan is the total number of years someone lives, like our friend Lifetime Long, who made it to a hundred. But as we've seen, a long life doesn't necessarily equate to a fulfilling one. Enter health span. This refers to the number of years a person lives in good health, free from chronic diseases or disabilities that limit their physical or mental function. It's the quality of life that Lifetime Strong enjoyed, actively participating in life up until his last breath. In this comparison, it's clear that a long lifespan without a corresponding health span can feel more like a sentence than a celebration. It underscores the importance of not just adding years to life, but life to years. So, it's not just about how long we live, but how well we live. Lifespan, the term we often hear, is simply the total number of years a person lives. Now, isn't that a straightforward concept? It's like counting the rings on a tree trunk to determine its age. Each year, one ring. Each ring, another year lived. But let's not be fooled by its simplicity. Lifespan is a complex matrix of genetic factors, environmental conditions, lifestyle choices, and even a dash of good old luck. However, let's remember that lifespan is a mere numerical value. It counts the years, but it doesn't weigh them. It does not consider the quality of those years. It doesn't differentiate between years spent in vibrant health or those spent grappling with chronic ailments. It's like a bookkeeper of time, keeping a cold, unemotional tally of our years. So, let's not get too hung up on the numbers game, because remember, living a long life doesn't always mean living a healthy one. Now, let's turn our attention to this lesser-known term, health span. Health span, unlike lifespan, isn't about the quantity of years, but rather the quality of those years. It's the period of your life that you spend in good health, free from the grips of debilitating chronic diseases or disabilities. So, instead of counting the candles on your birthday cake every year, imagine counting the years you've lived brimming with vitality, unburdened by chronic illness. You'll find a different kind of satisfaction there, a deeper one. Focusing on health span shifts the perspective from mere survival to thriving. It's about living each day to the fullest, experiencing life with all its colours, tastes and sounds, without being hindered by health issues. And while we're at it, let's remember that we don't just want to add years to life, but life to years. Because at the end of the day, aiming for a longer health span means aiming for a life full of vitality. As we compare lifespan and health span, we see two different focuses, quantity of life versus quality of life. In our journey today, we've explored the fascinating concepts of lifespan and healthspan. We've come to understand that while lifespan is simply the duration of time one lives, healthspan is the period during which one is healthy and free from serious disease. There's an undeniable charm in the idea of living a long life, of witnessing the world change and evolve. Lifespan, the measure of that longevity, matters. It's a testament to the advances in medicine, public health and technology that allow us to keep ticking like a well-oiled clock. Yet the length of the tick-tock doesn't necessarily equate to a fulfilling life. 
This is where Healthspan enters the stage, stealing the spotlight with its focus on the quality of life. Healthspan is about making those ticking moments count, about ensuring that our lives are not just long, but also vibrant and healthy. It's about adding colour to the canvas of our existence. Think of it this way. Lifespan is the broad, sweeping brushstroke that outlines our life's painting, while healthspan is the palette of vibrant colours that bring that painting to life. Lifespan gives us the framework, healthspan fills it in. Now the question is, would you rather have a life that's simply long, or a life that is long and full of vitality? A life where you're not just surviving, but thriving? The answer seems clear. We should aim for a long health span, not just a long lifespan. This means focusing on preventive health care, on maintaining a balanced diet, on keeping our bodies active and our minds sharp. It means prioritizing mental health and emotional well-being. It means understanding that our health is our wealth and that a long life without health is like a rainbow without colors. It's missing the very essence of what makes it beautiful. So, let's embrace the concept of health span. Let's prioritize our health and well-being. Let's aim for a life that's not just measured in years, but in joyful, healthy moments. In the grand scheme of things, it's not the length of our life that truly matters, but the life we infuse into those years. It's not about reaching a certain age, but about reaching that age with vigor, health and happiness. Remember, it's not just about adding years to life, but life to years. Strive for a long health span, not just a long lifespan.